Melbourne's newest bus is a little bit different. Not only is it noticeably shorter than the rest of the fleet at Transdev's Doncaster depot, it also features real-time tracking, driver security screens and six onboard cameras. The safety and security of our, our, of our staff and our, our passengers is absolutely paramount. And um, you know, this, this is another example of the level of technology and, and, and safety that we've put in place to, to protect our commuters and our drivers as well. Designed to carry 23 people and two wheelchairs, the buses are built to navigate tight turns on narrow suburban streets. Customer satisfaction on Melbourne's buses remains below that of passengers using trams and trains, with the latest figures showing a rating of 69.6. So this investment has been welcomed. Well, it's good to see some investment in buses, but uh, there are big gaps in the network. There are a lot of problems with infrequent services around the suburbs. Um, in a lot of areas, you've only got one bus an hour on weekends, for instance. Transdev expects to have seven of these in service by the end of the month and says this type of vehicle has the potential to open up new routes in suburban housing estates. They provide a level of uh, mobility, uh, able to serve some of the new subdivisions that are coming in play uh, where we can't get those 12 and a half metre buses down there anymore. For now, they'll be confined to local runs around Manningham. With the government looking to expand Melbourne's transport network, these baby buses could well prove the way of the future. Andrew Lund, Nine News.